me again. Make sure you subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. Follow us. Like us. I got to go. Hey guys, it's Joe from Muscle Mini Bike Builds. What do we got going on today? Today's quick, easy video showing a simple valve adjustment. You'd be surprised how many guys don't really understand how it works. There's two ways to do it. There's uh, what I call uh, intake open exhaust closing, okay, or IOEC, or you can put it on top dead center. Today we're going to go through intake open exhaust closing method. Very simple, very easy. I got a brand new 212 right here, Tillotson. This is an electric start uh, engine for another project that uh, we're videoing now that'll be coming up here shortly. So I figured it'd be easy to uh, show you guys right on this. And uh, let's get some tools together. I'll show you what you need and we'll get started. Follow along. All right, here's what you need. Nothing crazy, just basic tools. I got a 3 8 drive ratchet with a spark plug socket on it and then another socket to uh, turn over the motor off the crank bolt. This one happens to be 13 16 13 millimeter socket to take the exhaust off if you need to do that. I just did it in this demonstration for a little bit more space and room. 8 millimeter wrench for the lock nut on the rocker arm. Small adjustable wrench to grab the adjusting stud. Little quarter inch drive uh, ratchet with an 8 millimeter socket on it to take off the uh, recoil. And then of course a set of feeler gauge with a 3 thousandths feeler gauge on it. Very simple, nothing complicated. There you go. For the sake of visibility, I will be removing the top of the air cleaner and I will pull the muffler off since it's going to come off anyway, but it will make it more visible to see in the camera. I will also be pulling off the recoil. This way you can get a socket and a ratchet on there and make it very easy to turn the motor over without it spinning past where you need it to go. And I will also be pulling the spark plug. Power sports. On this motor, this Tillotson uses a 13 16 for the crank bolt. So let's get that set up on there. This way you can easily turn the motor over. Okay, so we have the uh, ratchet on the crank bolt. Turn the motor over a few times. You can see the movement of the valve train. So basically, the process is IOEC intake opening exhaust closing right so let's follow along okay the, the exhaust is opening there keep going now intake opening the exhaust is closed right so now the exhaust is fully closed and the intake is open now you adjust the exhaust side and I'll show you how to do that very simple okay here's tools that you need you need a feeler gauge which is a three thousandths of an inch feeler gauge. See if we can get that on the camera there. Okay. An eight millimeter wrench to loosen the lock nut. And then I got a very small adjustable wrench I use to grab the, the adjustment stud right here. Kind of set it up first. It's a square, it's a square, uh, square head, so you can grab it with this. So right now, this valve is open. This valve is fully closed. Let's check and see what we got. This motor's never been run. And there it is. It's already set at three thousandths right from the factory. It's got a very little bit of drag on it, which is what I like. That's three thousandths of an inch. Now let's cycle the motor over and check the other side, and then I'll show you how to adjust it. Now, if we were going to adjust the other side, basically cycle the motor over. You see the intake valve closing. 
The exhaust valve is closed. It's actually on the compression stroke right now. Now, the exhaust valve is opening, but the intake valve is still closed. So let that open, leave that alone. Let's check that and see what kind of clearance we have right there. And if the motor was put together right at the factory, it should be at 3 thousandths. Yep, right at 3 thousandths with a light drag. So th this mode is set up right out of the box. Now, how do we adjust it? I'm going to go back to the exhaust side because it's easier without the air cleaner box in the way to show you on camera. So cycle it around. Exhaust valve just closed. Intake valve is just starting to open. And we know this is fully closed. And we know this is already set at 3 thousandths. How do we adjust it? Very simple. Take your 8 millimeter wrench, crack the stop nut or the lock nut, so to speak. Okay, now you can spin the adjuster. Okay, it's kind of hard to see, but I'll put the little wrench on it so my big fat fingers on in the way. But now you can, you can actually move the adjuster. Okay, so now I'm going to open the adjuster up and give it a big gap. And now you can see how much you can rock the valve. I'll open it up even more. There's like eighth of an inch in there, okay? So now what I do is I like to just about bottom it out, like finger tight, back it open about a half a turn, drop in the feeler gauge, close it down, start feeling a little tension on it, make sure your lock nut's up enough. That's about where it was when I opened it up. Feel a little light drag on it. You don't want to make this too tight and then see how it locks it and it won't let me pull it in and out. That's too tight. So back it off so there's just a little bit of slide on it. Okay? So that's good right there. Now it's reset. So what we do is take the wrench and now you want to hold this over here. And I'll show you a little close-up shot here in a second. Okay. Now I got the crescent wrench holding the adjuster and I got the 8 mil wrench on the lock nut. Hold the adjuster in place, and then just snug down the lock nut. Take that off. You can actually always hear a very slight click. Come back with your 3 thousandths tester, check it, and look at that. Same amount of drag. That means this didn't move, and this locked it in the place where it should be. Now what I like to do is cycle a motor over a couple times and check it again. Exhaust open, intake starting to open, exhaust closed, come back in, make sure we're good. Little bit of drag, just like it was before. See, a little bit of drag, nothing's hanging up. And that's perfect, set right at, if you can read that, three thousandths of an inch. And that's how you do it. We'll button the motor back up, and it's ready to run. All right, guys, there you have it. It's all done. Motor's back together. Very simple procedure. You saw the tools that you need, nothing crazy. This works on any Honda, Tillotson, Predator, Clone, Hemi, non-Hemi. The procedure's all the same. Only difference is basically the layout of the valve train, as we all know. I want to thank Go Power Sports for helping us out with this 212 electric star Tillotson that we were able to use in the uh, video. But this motor is going on a really cool build that we're in the process of doing right now. I don't want to let the cat out of the bag or tell you any secrets about it yet, but you'll see it'll be a three-part series. Anyway, subscribe to the channel. Check out the links for merchandise below. Check us out on Facebook, Muscle Mini Bike Builds page, and check us out on Instagram, Muscle Mini Bike Builds. I hope you enjoyed everything. Please leave a comment, tell me what you like, what you didn't like, what you wanted to see, what you didn't see. They're all good. You know, we appreciate it. I try to respond to every comment that I get or every question that we get. And I hope you guys that have left uh, questions or comments have gotten some answers uh, back. So that's it. Also, tell us what you want to see. We'll do more of it. Other than that, stay safe during these crazy times, and uh, we'll be back soon. Take care, everybody.